Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please be seated for a moment of silence. Good morning, Coyotes. On today's show, find out, find out when your auditions are and take a look at our Coyotes experience at the NFL Draft. Today is Thursday, May 3rd, 2018. I'm Nick Gallagher, and Coyote Nation TV Live starts now. Here's some good news. The weekend is just around the corner, but first, let's take a look at what happened last weekend. Art UIL hosted the state event in San Marcos, Texas. Out of our nine base works that went, seven of them received a four, earning state medals for each. Three of those works also received a gold seal, which is a huge deal. In Heritage History, we have received a total of three, so to earn three in one event is amazing. And to clarify how much of a big deal that is, only 150 pieces receive gold seals, and those works get to travel around through major art shows. Congrats to our artists, and now we need to wish them good luck to some students participating in competitions coming up. First off, there will be the last Color Guard, uh, Color Guard audition clinic before the actual audition after school. Be sure to meet in the band hall at 5 p.m. The High Stepper Officer and Sergeant tryouts will be in the Auxiliary and Competitive Gym after school. And tomorrow, the Color Guard audition will, take, will start at 5 p.m. Meet in the band hall for the tryout. Good luck to everyone trying out for a spot in these programs. There won't only be competition within our school though, because our varsity track and field team will head off to the University of Texas at Austin for the state track meet. The competition will start tomorrow at 8 a.m. We all gathered in the halls in celebration as they go, so be sure so we all wish the best for our Kyo athletes. While we are on the topic of sports, last Friday was the second round of the NFL draft, but this draft was a little more special to some of our coyotes. Our football team and cheerleading squad had the amazing opportunity to go to the event in person. CNTV's Gabby Carden brings a recap on the experience. Hello and welcome to ATT Stadium. Last Friday, round two of the 2018 NFL Draft was held at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Our very own football team was able to go. We, we took a bus there and then we got to AT&T Stadium and then once we got there, at first we got to check out the stadium and just look around. And then once we got done with that, we went outside and we went to the red carpet where Caden and Cam were and they got to talk to some NFL players and meet DeMarcus Ware and stuff like that. And then after that, we went back inside and we got to watch like the first five picks of the draft. Cameron Rose and I got to walk the red carpet and that was pretty awesome. And the team was on the side cheering us on. Cam and I got interviewed and we got to go watch part of the second round in the uh, Cowboy Stadium. That was awesome because a lot of people dream about um, going to the NFL and walking across that stage and seeing it in reality instead of on TV like makes you think like, wow, like it's possible anyone can do that. Our cheerleaders went to the draft as well. 
We got to stand by the red carpet and watch all of our football players and all the famous football players walk across. We got to cheer them on and show school spirit and say how proud we are of our football team and how they've come along. We got to meet a lot of people, see a lot of things that you wouldn't be able to see just from watching on the TV. Going to the NFL experience left a mark on those who went. It was kind of life changing because it's like a one in time, one in a lifetime experience, and I've never really seen the draft in person. So for us as a whole team to do it, it was pretty cool. It was an honor going there because it was a really good experience for me, and I would definitely want to do it again. I'm Gabby Carden for Coyote Nation TV. As Ben said, that must have truly been a once-in-a-lifetime experience because you don't get to go to those kinds of things often. But moving back to our announcements, the Coyote crew are looking for people for next year. They're the people who run the heritage flags during football season and they help bring that energy to the student section. If you think you have the energy, speed, and class to be a part of the crew, then you should go pick up an application by Mr. Burwell's room, B-104. And if you have any questions, go see Mr. Burwell or Mr. Cotton. Now, here's a heads up for all seniors. The Senior Baccalaureate Service will be hosted this Sunday, May 6th at 6 p.m. The practice will be today at 4.45 p.m. at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The church is just down the road at the intersection of El Dorado and Hillcrest. Also, you need to send a baby picture and a non cap and gown picture no later than by 5 p.m. today. Send them to Sonia Choi at T-E-C-H h-i-g-h-s-t-e-p-p-r-s at gmail.com that is tech high steppers at gmail.com also you are required to wear your cap and gown to the baccalaureate you should dress as you will for graduation looking into what else you need to know the student council officer packets are available the class of 2019 will elect their officer positions and the classes of 2020 and 2021 will elect two representatives for each grade the packets are in mrs mumford's room a201 and they will be due this coming monday looking into next week there will be eoc testing the Algebra 1 EOC will take place on Tuesday, the Biology EOC will be on Wednesday, and the U.S. History EOC will be on next Thursday. Testing will start at 9 a.m., so good luck to our testers. Also, if you are testing and your first period is off campus, you need to come to Heritage instead. And for those who are not testing, we need to show up to our classes as usual. And as a quick reminder for those testing, you need to make any lunch arrangements needed because you cannot have food delivered. You cannot bring any electronic device in the room. You cannot bring any backpacks or anything of that sort. All you can have in the room is a pencil, snack, water bottle, highlighter, and a book to read after you're finished. And if you are ever looking for a reminder for events, be sure to join the pack and check us out on Twitter at Coyote Nation TV and check out our YouTube and packpage.org for our content. I'm Nick Gallagher and you stay classy, Coyotes.